everyone, it's Andrea, and I'm here with a special treat. This is a wedding album. It's Katie's wedding album, but this is not my artwork. It's my mom's artwork. Beth, you wanna say hi? Hi. And my mom's been hard at work using Close to My Heart supplies on this album, and I really wanted to show you all 50 plus pages of this album because I think it's just stunning. The papers that you have used are mainly Love Story, Mink. Mm -hmm. Mink and mix-ins and lot, from, of course, months. Lots and lots of neutral mix-ins. And then you've brought in a big wreath, which was a card overlay from one of our digital art collections. Yes, from one of the SVGs, yes. And my, my mom is thinking maybe a Christmas one, right? I think it might have been. We're not in our normal setup here, so things might look a little different. We got a few shadows, but I, we think you can. And the flowers are from Daisy Daisy. See that? And they're cut with just a neutral color palette, some white glitter cardstock, some mink, probably some linen I see in here, I would guess. And white that white glitter cardstock up here and some black glitter cardstock. It's very pretty. And it's her invitation, obviously. Yes, the invitation. We'll turn the page and you no, know, this is a little bit out of frame. So we have this big page. You got this from Cricut Design Space? I believe so, yes. And she made the last name here. And again, keeping that very neutral color palette. So it's kind of like what I'm doing with the album, just a little different. And I love it because it's all coordinating. And then this, the picture of Katie and James. That's her favorite picture, she said. So we put it at the beginning of the album. And then there's an overlay that is cut completely out of white and glitter I'm cardstock. That might be from art booking, possibly, maybe. Way back, throwback. Way back. Yeah, I'd probably look for a Google, like Google or go on Cricut Design Space and search up mm -hmm. frame overlay and see if it's in your collection. And then we have a double spread of the venue. And I don't know, what are these pages from? Are these mix ins also? Those are mix ins. I love sense. how you've just used those throughout. It's very modern feeling here, which works with the sign, but it's very, the, the venue was very vintagey. Um, hemp and silk factory and Patterson. So it's nice how you have the modern touch with the vintage kind of venue. Next, we have some engagement photos because this is really where the story began and he asked and she said, yes, this is a current stamp and thin cut set. Um, and then these are some flowers that you've cut out of. Yeah, they were close to my heart die cuts that I, that I cut out of bell. Really pretty. I'm gonna lift that up. And these are like, these are going way back, these gems. I forgot the name of them, but um, you might have some in your stash if you're a collector like the rest of us and they wait just for the right project. So I love that. And you'll see a little sticker here from one of the Love Story paper collections. And right here is another little piece hidden There's under. vellum hidden under the pictures just for an added layer. I don't know if you guys can pick that up, but there is, I think you can see it right here. There's some vellum and it comes out. It's very Hanging pretty. And then this is a lot of the decor and You'll see it was a very unique place and the camera just keeps sliding down. So I'm gonna keep sliding this book back as we go to keep it in frame for you. Now, I have a feeling these are Anna Griffin. I believe They're on so. Cricut Design Space. Um, but there's lots of roses, cabbage roses that you could find if you didn't have access to that. But again, the love story paper pack and lots of the details. What I love about these pages is that um, the photos are allowed to be the star of the show. I see some of our tags and tabs kind of thin cuts here. And then one of our doilies from one of our collections right there. Very pretty and double matted. And then this one we're going to have lots of fun with because this is James, my son-in-law, and he's getting ready with his dad and his best man. But what I love about this page is that it's kind of unexpected because we have some flip flaps and I know that, let me slide that down. See if we can pull that in. Well, anyway, I don't wanna rip it off the page, but we have just more hidden flip flaps. So you get the idea of Mr. GQ here. 
So I love that. So the groom has one set of layouts and then we flip on over and we'll tuck in that flip flop ever so gently. And the bride has her set. So you have basically mimicked what you did for the groom and did it for the bride, just different. These are a little bit softer um, papers where the, the groom had the black, which made sense with his tux and his shoes and even the imitation photo there with the rings. So these are the detail photos, right? Mm -hmm. And we have another vellum flower over here with a few layers of mix-ins. And you guys might recognize some of these photos because I actually just scrapbooked this one. Um, the shoes. So we have more flip-flops. And I like how you picked out, these are the vow books. So you picked out the details that were went with Katie's mm -hmm. getting ready. I love that. Lots of glitter. And then these were from a card overlay with one of our recent digital art collections. Oh, correct. And that might have been Cosette. It might be, yes. And it's just nice to see it done. You just made it really big mm -hmm. and cut it out at like 11 and a half by whatever the width ended up being yes. and turned it sideways. Very pretty. These are like the formal portraits for the two of them. Very, very nice. Again, I love that the, the portraits are what you see first and then you get to go through all the details. Very pretty. And some of the stickers from the paper packet are, are here as well. Okay, so here we have the pages with the wedding party and I'm gonna just slide this over just a bit. We have all the groomsmen on this side and here they are with James and the best man, James's brother, and one of his groomsmen, and this is um, my son, Eddie, who's the bride's brother. So we have the, the relative brother here, and then, and then we have the best man. And so you did the same thing under this flip flop. So the layout is actually more, the album's more than 50 pages when you take into consideration that this is 51, 52, and the other flip flops mm -hmm. throughout. So there's a lot of pages here. And so on this side, we have the bridesmaids. So we have the maid of honor, who's my second daughter, my third daughter right here, the whole bunch of bridesmaids with Katie. And we'll slide this one over as well. And hidden under here, we have James's sister, Katie's cousin, Katie's friend. So I love how that all turned out. So you really extended that story. So we'll slide that back in. And the Daisy Daisy. Oh yeah, more Daisy Daisy. So I like the continuing trend throughout the album and the same elements, the glitter, the white glitter, it kind of moves it across, whether it's mix-ins or the love story. And then we have some of the other important people in the wedding. And let's see, we have some embossing right here on some black. And I still see some silver glitter Sequins Stops. up here, yeah, and down here. So that's very nice. Oh, and these are the frames. This is from one of the um, Cherish card making. Card making kit. Yeah, I see that tucked in up there. It's one of the die cuts if you have that Cherish card making yeah, kit. Oh, I'm right there. It's kind of cool because it makes it feel Art Deco, which is how I kind of felt about the venue. It was old, but you could, you know, change it a little bit. And then here comes the bride with lots of flowers. I like that. And the and reason it was done like that is because there was one good picture of Katie walking down the aisle with her parents. But I saw James's face on that picture watching her come down the aisle. And I just thought it was perfect together. It really does. It all comes together so nicely. Again, another one where there's a lot of embellishment, but your eyes go right to the photos first. And then you see everything secondary which is really nice. And then this, I like this, even though it's a busier pattern paper, you didn't put lots of patterns with it. Nope. So I like that you have the thicker, I noticed you have a thicker border here too on the photos, which gives you a little room to rest your eyes. Mm -hmm. nice. Another flip flap over here. So we've used a lot of flip flaps. Boy, I'm gonna miss those five by seven flip flaps. So am I. It's a sad, sad thing. And then we have stickers. These are from the actual Love Story collections as well. Another doily out of one of our thin cuts. So you've really snuck a lot of 
close to my heart products in here. And then we have these little, little photos here. And this was when they were reading their vows. And um, they had already seen each other with first look at this point. But I love how the pages kind of mimic each other. We have the same element in the center. More flip flaps. I'm gonna get my arm out of the way because we had a big shadow. Again, another busy paper, but because you've done it so subtly in this one, I love how like you have the squares and it kind of mimics the, the squares of the pictures. So mm -hmm. good design. Oh, and we must have a heavy flip flap here. So together we make one beautiful family. And I think I'm gonna have to pull the album down a bit for you to see this. But we have the eight by 12 flip flops. So you have the parents over here, the bride and groom, and then we have Katie and James, and then all of the siblings. And I hope you guys can see that, I'll bring that in. But again, I love, love the details that you have on here because they really do let the photos stand out. I'll move that back again. But look at all that. Isn't that pretty with the flip flaps? It's a great way to use flip flaps. And I'm assuming this is something that you got maybe from Cricut Design Space as well. I believe so, yes. And then continuing on with the family trend, it's all of the grandparents. So James's grandparents and Katie's grandparents on the other page. And um, I think this one's really pretty with the hearts. And this was, oh, this, I don't even know if this was a mix and this might've been like the this silver was a mix foil. And this was the silver foil. Paper. Yeah, so if you have those, this is a good time to, to break those out and use them. But I really like that. And everything, again, with the white glitter cardstock, it's perfect. And the old gems again. Yeah, those, those gems. You see, you were saving them for a reason. And here we are where they are outside, and Katie's tapping James on the shoulder. So this is their first look. Everything was a little out of order that day, different from mm -hmm. the way we used to do things. But you use the flowers from the sticker pack. Mm -hmm. this time and silver gems in the flowers you do like that too very very pretty and then these are stripes of paper that you fit in with the mm -hmm. yeah just glitter paper very pretty so you made it fancier and here we are at our first dance and this I just love this paper this one is just when I say like art decoy that's what it reminds me of I just think it's so pretty but beautiful and you'll see the flowers that we had earlier on in the album. And this is a sticker, I guess, that you cut in half. I bet I cut in half. There's yes. half here on the edge. I don't know if you guys can see yeah. that on camera. And I think, again, is a core booking yeah. frame. Might be from one of the baby layouts or something. But beautiful. And then you'll see some more close to my heart things here. We have one of the border thin cut sets here. We have some vellum hearts here, more stickers from the paper pack. Um, I see some bitty gems that came into play here. And then this is a card front thin mm -hmm. cut, right? Right. Really pretty. And you've just backed it with, with a darker shade. Mm -hmm. And then here we go. Just... And there's more flip flops. Oh, there's more. I almost missed that one. See, that's why we have her yeah. here. Yeah, through each watcher? series of pictures that they took outdoors or indoors, I try to pull the groups of pictures together oh, flaps. on here. That's great. And there's some vellum. I don't know if you can see that. Vellum definitely softens up some of these backgrounds. So if you're looking for a way to soften some of the papers, the vellum definitely does that. Oops. I'm opening up the flip-flops here. And here she's gotten brave and she's done some stamping up and down both of these pages. And these are some, these were leaves right? right were they with these stamps that as well with those stamps and i yeah. cut them and stamp them and yes. i think if you did the album retreat with close to my heart you actually got the stamp set this was one of them mm -hmm. with the thin cut so mm -hmm. and then you brought and in some picture my, picture my life cards and flip flop here mm -hmm. i love that i love just discovering and each page because it's got flip flaps is different and then stamping these onto here I so believe. you stamped onto a sticker mm -hmm. so it's a different technique Yep, love that. And then here we are. This is all of the um, table scapes, I guess I'd call it, and the table mm -hmm. setups and 
everything looked. And I should mention a lot of these photos are from Emily Kirsten Photography. She's out of the Philly area. If anybody wants to look her up on Instagram, I've tagged her in a few posts that I've put up there um, because she really is a talented young lady. And, and the pictures are essentially hers. These are hers, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, most of the pictures throughout are hers. Mm -hmm. I was going more with the candids that I took in mm -hmm. the layouts that I was doing, so I love seeing the formal ones here. But again, the doily and the flowers and the, the bling. So you keep going across. And the time to celebrate is an old sentiment stamp set, I think, right? Mm -hmm. And then here we have basically the cuisine I was calling. We were deciding if we needed to title this page or not. Um, because there's some little windows here and they're covered with vellum, I'd say, mm -hmm. in front of the mix-ins. striped vellum. Really pretty. Oh, it's a striped vellum. It's so that's what it is. Vellum. Okay. Yes. Um, so more flip-flops. This is our caterer, Willow and Sage. The best food. Um, the signature drinks. So it's fun to have a page that's all aspects of the cuisine. Anything else you want to add to these? That's I love the only it. picture that I think was... Or that was that was one of the few pictures that was in Emily's. Yeah, that was one that mm -hmm. I probably took at the table then. Mm -hmm. So happy. Another picture of my life card. And this was during the speeches. So uh, this was during the, the maid of honor speech. And then James got up and did a little speech too. And again, the doily with some more stickers. Very pretty. And it doesn't look like, you know... You're using strips of things, so you're not always using full pages of the cardstock, which is kind of neat. And again, the the Daisy Daisy Thin Cuts made their appearance. Okay. And then this is just a series of photos that I know my mom absolutely loves. Right, of them dancing outside. They were dancing in the, taken. in the courtyard. So it just kind of goes through all the motions. And um, I think Katie loves these photos too. So that's why you have a page them dedicated too. to it. Yeah. So, but this, you know, even though it's it's a simple page, but it's it's perfect, you know, because you add the embellishments and stuff and mm -hmm. just lots of squares of concentric squares of paper, right? Right, telling your story. Yeah. And then we have a lot of stamping. This was a stamp of the month, I think, from way back when. You so. will forever be my always. And lots of hearts. And I think this was one of the pages. It's just got lots of zip strips and little strips of paper. And we were away at a retreat, and you actually, without the photos, before they even got married, when you were working on this album, you won a, a prize, a prize for, this, right. for this page. So if you have lots of zip strips, this is a perfect way to use them up. I just think that is beautiful. And I, obviously other people did too, because they voted on it. And I went to touch that, because there's, you know, flip-flops on everything, but not on this there's just some dimension here, so it felt like there should be a flip-flop underneath. And then we have where the... The kids are cutting their cake here. I love how you framed it out, kind of mitered the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Pretty, and then the flowers are continuing through. Picture my life card. Picture my life card. And then the last page. Now you might remember that overlay. You used it earlier in the mm -hmm. book. And so it's just a simple last page where it really just shows off the photo so well. This was a close to my heart. That was a thin cut thin too? Cut. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so that's the album tour. So it's 50 pages without all the flip flaps. So probably looking at closer to like, you know, 55, 60 pages worth. And it's all fitting in a close to my heart, three ring binder here album. And um, this will be delivered to Katie soon. Mm-hmm. Right? So, yeah. So, thank you guys for watching. Thanks, Mom, for sharing it with me okay. and um, sharing it with everybody here on YouTube. As we look at the layout details, I want to remind you that I will put all of the supplies that we've used down below in this video's description, as well as the links to my other wedding layouts. Now, if you wouldn't mind, hit that subscribe button if you've not already done so. That way, you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and have a creative day.